Welcome back. I'm Calvin, Statue Fanatic, and today we're going to take a look at something a little bit different that I have looked at in the past. These guys make me smile, by the way. Um, these are quarter scale figures from NECA of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 1990 movie, both the first and the sequel. These are the same characters. So, a little bit about why I'm doing these figures and you know about the whole NECA thing because that has another story too but the reason why I wanted to collect these guys is um, many years ago I was stationed overseas and uh, they had various locations but I remember many times when we didn't go off base or we couldn't go off base we would find our way in the day room sitting around watching TV and for some reason I can distinctly remember this, this movie either the first one or the second one they all kind of run together for me playing over and over on the weekends in the day room and I do remember we consumed a lot of beer and pizza back then but what's really cool about this is it just brings back fond memories and memories of me bonding with comrades and friends that I have remained friends with for many many years so these are kind of special to me so without further ado let's talk about the turtles so we have here starting from uh, my left to right we have uh, Leonardo, we have Michelangelo, we have Donatello, and we have Raphael. And starting from the top to the to the bottom, we'll talk about the sculpt, we'll talk about the uh, weapons that they come with, and some of the accessories are really cool as well. So starting over here with Leonardo, he comes with his classic katanas, and what's really cool about the katanas, they actually come out and they fit into the sheath here, so you can actually display him that way. I thought that was really cool, because sometimes they'll have these things on the back where you have the the the, the uh, for display purposes but they're not functional and these are actually functional and another cool thing that he comes with is a radioactive uh, ooze kind of canister with a little scar on it that I guess maybe splinter did or something but it actually comes off sometimes but pretty cool um, love this guy love the sculpt on this guy so I'll kind of talk about them all together when it comes to the sculpt because they're quite similar in many ways What's different about each of these, of course, is the head sculpt. Each of them have their own personality and they're sculpted that way, so they have different facial expression and all those because, as you know, each of the turtles have very, very distinct and different personalities. But when it comes to the body of these guys, um, the body of each of these guys are quite similar, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, we'll go back to Michelangelo and talk about him. He comes with the classic um, bandana slash mask just like um, uh, Leonardo did. But what's cool about each of these uh, bandanas is that they're actually cloth, which is kind of cool. So technically, not technically, actually, there's mixed media in these uh, figures. He actually comes with the classic, with his classic weapon, which is the uh, nunchucks, which is pretty cool. And moving on down here to Donatello, again, he has the cloth, which is purple, uh, my favorite color. He comes with his classic weapon, the bow. And you see he's holding a slice of pizza. Actually, each of them come with a slice of pizza. You can't have a turtle without pizza. Uh, they probably wouldn't have beer, but uh, we added beer to ours. But anyway, they come with uh, pizza, which is pretty cool. And uh, Donatello comes with his canister as well. The other two didn't come with canisters, uh, but they did. And then lastly, we have Raphael, and he has his classic red bandana slash mask. And I bet there's a name for this, and I probably should have looked that up before the video. But um, he comes with this classic weapon, the Psy. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Lots and lots of detail in each of these figures to say that they're not statues per se. And, and something about that statue, that term can be subjective because when I look at these figures in terms of the substantialness of the figures, the weight of the figures and how well they're built, I've got statues that are not built this well. So I'm pretty happy with how all of them came out. Now I mentioned something about the body and the sculpt of each of these guys. So interestingly, these two guys, Donatello and Raphael, you can tell from the neck down, they were from the same mold. And these two guys here, Leonardo and Michelangelo, their bodies are from the same sculpt. You can see they have different veins and muscles in their arms and their legs. So with that said, what makes each of these different and causes each of them to stand out on their own is that the nice shading and coloring that is different on each of the turtles. So I like that. Even the, um, the elbows, pads, and the knee pads, all from the same mold, but again, 
They're very uniquely shaded and colored very differently, which gives it a really great touch. I want to talk a little bit about the detail that are on the, the statues. I just called them statues, didn't I? Well, see, I told you this, this, this is subjective. But anyway, on these figures, the um, shells are from the same mold, but yet they have very distinct markings and scratches and things on there to make them look quite different than each other. Again, I love that. That's fantastic. Look at the breastplates. Breastplate, different shading and coloring. Also on the back of these and around them, there's a different belt or, or a, type, a belt that's holding the shell. I guess it wouldn't be holding the shell because they're turtles, but that's holding them together, kind of holding their weapons and things like that. Pretty cool stuff there. I don't want this guy to fall over. Um, I love them. I'm telling you, man, I really love these figures a lot. Um, each of the figures comes with four sets of hands, which is pretty um, cool. Michelangelo, a little bit about this guy. If you've seen this particular scene in the movie... Well, well maybe I'll just take my attitude and Why leave. don't you? I will. Good. Great. Go ahead. We don't need ya. Pork rind. Pork rind. You remember the pork rinds. Yes, they included some pork rinds here. And I thought this was really cool. There's a guy online that actually put a template up. Uh, and I think NECA should have included this in, a, in, in the um, as an accessory or something. But I printed a template out to be able to make my own Domino's pizza box. Pretty cool. Um, I feel like a little kid here looking at these things. I want to go and play with them. Pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Now, what I want to talk about is the price. This is really awesome. These figures retail for $129 but you can definitely probably find them, um, depending on the turtle, a little bit cheaper. Some of them actually a little bit more, but at $129, I think that's a great price considering the bill quality of these. Now, in talking about the price of these, I know a lot of people watch our videos uh, and they go, I even have friends that watch them and they go, oh my God, man, look at that room or look at this. And they think it's so cool. I wish I could collect things like that. And sometimes this stuff is pretty expensive and it seems like it's getting more expensive. And hopefully, you know, this will reach a zenith and these prices are level out, come down some because they're getting out of a lot of people's price ranges. But when you look at figures like this, I think this is a great way for someone um, to get into collecting that wants something that looks substantial, that feels substantial and displays really well. NECA does a great job. My first experience with collecting NECA figures was kind of through my son. Um, my son was a teenager at the time and he got his first job, I think at TJ Maxx or Ross, and he asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I kind of smirked, you know, and he goes, hell no. He says, I know you want one of those expensive ass statues, but there is no way in heck that I can afford that statue. So we kind of left it at that. And then on Christmas, um, he gave me a big box and I thought there's no way he would have bought one of these statues because he doesn't make that much money. And uh, I opened it and it was a NECA figure of Batman. And I thought it was the bomb. I loved it. Gave him a big old high five and a hug and told him thank you. But it actually started me looking at these figures more and I actually started collecting NECA figures. I collect some like some of the figures like Predator, Alien, uh, Terminator. They're really, uh, and Robocop, they're really nicely made. Um, very good way to get into collecting. So I rambled on a lot about that. Uh, I wanted this to be a really short video, a really fun video to say, hey, look, collect what you love. Don't worry about what people say when it comes to all of the prestige of collecting certain figures and things like that. If something like this connects you to who you are, connects you to your youth, connects you to smiles, please collect it. So with that said, I'm going to end the video. And until next time, peace.